careful observations. Look at the, the supernatant. Look at the crystals. There's a very important observation right here. Okay, what I have set up is a filtration apparatus. We're going to use suction. So <clears throat> I'm going to put in the funnel, I'm going to dump the crystals, and I'm going to put in some filter paper first. And then uh, I'm going to turn on the vacuum right here. But I don't want the, if any of the supernatant, if any of the supernatant gets uh, uh, sucked through the hose, I don't want it going into our vacuum system, which is very expensive and it's downstairs. I don't, I don't want that to happen. So um, what I've set up is a safety trap. So any solution that gets sucked through this hose, if any, probably not much will, it's gonna go into the trap. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Maybe you can hear it. And I'm gonna pour your, one of your uh, crystals through, maybe you guessed who it was already. So you can see the solution, the supernatant dripping through. And some of it did go into my trap, so it's a good thing I have that. So now I'm breaking up the crystals. So they'll go into the filtering apparatus. Then I want to dry them and weigh them, and then um, you'll be able to do your calculations and finish the experiment. So I won't bore you with this process anymore. So here are the beautiful green crystals of the coordination compound. And you can look in my funnel here, make careful observations, and then look in my beaker. Hmm, look in my beaker. And then look in this flask. I'm showing you those observations so that you can maybe think about some unintended, unavoidable error and maybe some avoidable error. What do you think that would be? I'm going to dry them and then go away. Okay, so here are the dried crystals. They're beautiful. Thank you, Locker57. Um, I'm going to now weigh them. I've already teared the scale. And I'm going to weigh the crystals on some weigh paper. Scrape all of those on there. So now you can make a reading. And that should be a little easier for you to make your reading now, that it's the right direction. So take one last look at the lab. It might be the last time we see this for a while. It's kind of sad for me. Okay. So what I'd like for you to do is use those 
uh, use that mass um, and use that as if it were yours. And you're going to calculate your, uh, you already calculated your theoretical yield, so now I want you to calculate the percent yield. It's going to be low. So um, hopefully you've made good observations from what I showed you, and I want you to think about why it, what's the biggest source of unavoidable error? There's a, a massive source of unavoidable error, and it was in an observation I just showed you as I was filtering. So I want you to think about um, that unavoidable error, very important. Then I'd like for you to think about how um, I could have increased the yield of crystals two ways before I filtered it. I want you to come up with two ways I could have increased, in a very simple way, the yield of crystals. Okay? And then I want you to look at um, the way I did things. I, I purposely, hopefully you saw, some avoidable error on my part. I'm in a hurry. I want to get out of here today. So, what would be some <clears throat> avoidable errors that I made as I was um, preparing to filter and weigh those crystals? Okay, so I'd like for you to think about those things as you write up your discussion. Thank you.